everybody. It's Justin. I'm hanging out in my club. It's pretty cool. Everybody say hi. Hello. How are you? We're gonna order some bottles soon. And um, little John's playing tonight. Just hanging out with some friends. Say hi. We're, I'm gonna make a YouTube video. Um, it's a pretty cool view. It's very nice. Yo, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to get a free copy of my book, Nuts, Efficient Dating for Men, so you can learn how to bust a nut whenever you want. And then with further ado, enjoy the video. Hello, gentlemen. My name is Justin. I'm an international dating coach and relationship expert, and I'm also a VIP host in the nightlife industry. Um, I actually host at the number one rated super club in Canada. It's an awesome uh, experience being able to provide value to people. Bring it. Cool. Um, I got into this six years ago, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you and explain to you how you can actually become a club promoter, a VIP nightlife host, an ambassador, um, and all the different ways of how to get into this kind of industry, whatever city you may be in in the world. Um, personally, I love throwing parties. For me, I've always, you know, been a socially anxious person, and I figured, you know, throwing parties would be the number one way to overcome my social anxiety, make lots of friends, and meet lots of beautiful women. And in doing so, um, I've been able to do exactly that, expand my social skills, create a business around the nightlife industry, and get access to the best clubs in the entire world in any city I ever go to just because of my networking abilities. I'll give you a little bit of backstory. Um, when I was 18 years old, I wanted to get into the nightlife industry and what happened was I kept showing up to this club. It was an 18 plus, I think 17 plus club. They call it like an all ages club. And I showed up early, right when they opened the doors, when they opened the front doors at 10 p.m. Nobody's there, I'm the first person there and I see the bouncer, you know, taking out the gates, you know, lining up the, um, you know, the velvet rope is what they usually had, but in this club they had like a metal gate. I start speaking to him, make friends with him, and he lets me in for free. Great, so now I have a relationship with the management of the club. Turns out that guy wasn't a bouncer, he was actually the dude hosting the event. So I made friends with all of the guys hosting the parties, and it got to a point where I would just bring tons of girls. And they pretty much said, hey, if you bring people, bring girls, we'll let you in for free. So I would always show up with anywhere from 10 to 20 people, mostly hot girls. Specifically because I was so broke, <laughs> I didn't want to pay the $20 cover to get in the club. So I would bring people, and um, I would get in for free, and then they would let in all my friends in for free. Whoever I wanted to get in for free, they would let them in for free, which was really cool. Um, and then it got to a point where they were like, listen, you're gonna work for us as a club promoter, otherwise we're gonna stop this free access. And I was kinda like, well shit, I can't really afford to pay club cover uh, whenever I go clubbing. And further than that, um, it was kinda like, I didn't really want to have a job as a club promoter, I just kinda did it for fun, I wanted to meet girls and that kind of thing. And what was interesting was my first night, 18 years old, promoting, I made $600 cash, holding a stack of cash when it's funny because that was more money than I, than I even had in my bank account at the time, um, which is crazy because I'm 18 years old, $600 in my hand, I think I was able to keep 400 of it. That weekend I made over $1,000 um, from hosting like two or three parties and uh, just doing sick ticket sales. So the way it works, um, typically when you know you get into club promoting, you're not gonna have the network or the access to you know reach high up. And um, that means, simply put, you're gonna be selling tickets on the street kind of thing. You're gonna be convincing people from your college or university or your social circle to you know, buy a ticket for $10 for this cool club event. So that's essentially what I was doing. But the cool thing is, you know, these clubs are cool clubs. People wanna go there anyway. And so, you know, I'm kinda just a middleman, you know, getting the tickets to the people who'd be showing up to the venue. And it's really awesome, because I was able to make a lot of money um, at a very young age just because you know that skill set of socializing and what this has allowed me to do is network with some of the most amazing people um, in the entire world have amazing friendships and connections or you know even if I want to you know take a girl on a date I'm actually seeing a beautiful girl she's gonna be over here in like 10 minutes so I can make this video short but um, our first I guess you could say date was you know me bringing her into a VIP experience at the number one rated super club in Canada right uh, even last weekend, I'm up there in VIP with 30 to 40 beautiful women. 
um, unlimited bottle service in a $10,000 booth and little John is, you know, out there DJing and rapping and shit. And it's awesome to, you know, reflect, say, you know, where, see where I came from years ago, <laughs> see where I'm at now. Now, I'm gonna explain to you exactly how you can get in the nightlife industry, okay? So, first, there are three main ways, I guess you could say, love of promoting. That, that would be like, you know, walking up to people in the street, um, you know, communicating with them to say, hey, come to this cool party, and then you get a cut of their ticket sales. So if you're in a city like Miami, Los Angeles, even New York, um, you can do things like this. Uh, a city that has lots of tourists, a lot of people who want to, you know, come to cool parties, but they don't really know where to go. Um, any big city in the world, really. Um, so that's number one, ticket sales, okay? Then there is, you know, guest list. It's using social media and your social circle and the people you actually know. Instead of, you know, approaching random people on the street, trying to sell them something. Um, it's using your own social network, having regular guests consistently coming to your parties. That is a great way to do these things as well, right? Um, I do a little bit of that as well myself. Um, so that's using guest list. Um, you might even use ticket sales, but it's having regulars. That's a great strategy. Okay, then the third thing is VIP hosting. So hosting VIPs. Um, and getting paid directly from the management of the club. So let's say they pay you a flat rate of $300 to $400 a night and you bring you know, really hot girls and then people, aka males, who spend a lot of money on alcohol, right? So a lot of my guests are you know, millionaires or you know, very affluent individuals who have a lot of attention on them um, or really hot chicks, really beautiful girls. Okay, because I run a business as a dating coach. Um, because I run these curriculums where I'm always out meeting women, um, I'm able to actually bring them into my lifestyle of you know, the nightlife. And you know, because of that, I'm able to have a, an opportunity to host them in a VIP experience. Okay, so what you gotta realize is it's about the experience your guest has. Um, you can make a lot of money off the nightlife industry, meet lots of beautiful women, build an amazing social circle, build amazing connections. Uh, but what it really is about is the experience the guest has. You know, what kind of venue you're hosting at, what kind of, you know, experience and feelings they're having throughout the night. Are they having a good time or are they having a bad time? Will they want to come back? Because that's where most of the money will be. It will be from having those regular guests who come every single week, right? I can actually, you know, pinpoint a lot of my guests who will, you know, they'll come maybe once or twice a month, but they'll always bring 20 friends, right? And let's say you're getting paid $10 per head per person you bring. 20 people, you know, regularly coming, and let's say they come 10 times a year, that's 20 times 10 times 10, $2,000 in your pocket, just because you know one person, one connection. Now imagine you had five of those people, that's $10,000 per year, right? But typically on an average night out, for example, last weekend, I probably brought out over 100 people um, to the venue I was hosting at. I hope this makes sense. So you'll be able to make a lot of money. Further than that, build a really deep relationships and connections with these you know, people have cool friendships, um, seeing these cool guys you're hanging out with every week. Further than that, build awesome relationships with beautiful women, okay? Um, Ex-girlfriend of mine, where did she fall in love with me? I would say it was on her second night hanging out together where um, <laughs> I had $500 in free drinks for us to sip on. We got wasted um, and just had a great time. I hope that makes sense. It, it was like, you know, us building a connection, hanging out all these times, and then able to offer them this exclusive VIP experience where they're like, cool, this guy is a man of value, but for that, I have lots of fun with him. Um, and you know, it's really cool because almost like being in a nightclub, you're going back in time to a caveman mating ritual party kind of thing, if that makes sense. You, you really see like humans, how primal they are. You see kind of creepy dudes grabbing random girls. Um, you see, you know, girls being really feminine and beautiful. And what, what's interesting is it really helps you understand human nature, psychology, people in general. And it will really teach you and train you to be the best version of yourself. Because it made me really empathetic personally to understand how people are feeling, to, you know, understand the experience they could have. And if you're at the cause of that amazing experience, you'll get messages being like, yo, thanks for the party, that was an amazing time. And everyone will be at the effect of you. You'll be at the cause. Everyone will be reacting to you. And it's cool because you can kind of, you know, lead things how you want, right? At the end of the night, you can tell everyone, hey, let's have an awesome after party. Bring a bunch of people back. Bring a bunch of cool people back. Um, have drinks, have fun. And you know, maybe more often than not, you'll meet a cute, 
girl, all right? Uh, from my years of clubbing experiences, I've met tons and tons and tons of beautiful women. Um, I would say a good majority of my ex-girlfriends, I brought them to cool parties. And that is what made them, you know, want to date me because they saw, cool, this guy's got connections, got access, cool energy, and he's just a fun time to be around, right? And that's what opened them up to being with me over with someone else, right? Further than that, you get paid a lot of money, right? Um, I'm able to make tens of thousands of dollars per year um, passively from posting a Snapchat, Instagram post, okay? Just from posting a little, you know, thing every week on my Snapchat, Instagram. By the way, if you're not on my Snapchat, Instagram, following my content, you should, you know, watch my parties, watch the crazy shit we do all the fucking time. Um, links in the description or, you know, throughout this video. <laughs> Um, make sure you're following our Snapchat, Instagram content because you're missing out if you don't. It's like actually watching almost like a reality TV series because you'll see all the parties we throw, all the events we have. Um, and you know, if I'm ever in the same city as you, I'll probably invite you to the parties to be honest. Uh, but further than that, you'll actually get to see exactly what it's like to have this lifestyle. So how do you actually have this lifestyle? Okay, so part of it is, you know, figuring out what are you doing? Are you doing, you know, ticket sales in the street, like street team promo? Are you building up a guest list and soul circle using social media, using Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook? Or are you doing like VIP nightlife hosting where you're focusing on quality, not quantity? You gotta figure out exactly what you're doing, what venue you're working for. And then you gotta go talk to the venues, the managers at the venues, build the right relationships make the right connections or host for someone else's company. So there's different ways you can do this, right? You can go, you know, knock on the doors and say, Hey, listen, I want to work with you. This is how many people I know. This is how many people I have on Instagram. I have a big social media following. Um, I have lots of friends. And if you don't have any of this, by the way, go out, create it and then go knock on those doors. Right. And then you got to build a relationship and work out a deal. Be confident in working out your deal. Say, this is how much you want per person. So typically what they'll pay you is $10 per head. At least that's the way they do here in my city of Toronto. You, can work out a flat rate deal of, let's say, you know, you're bringing a certain quality of guests per night. You know, you can say, hey, we'll charge you $300 per night. Um, the best way to do it is register a nightlife company, right? And it's interesting, like phone will always be going off because people are always trying to, you know, get in touch with you, see where the next party's at, see when the next time you're hanging out is, that kind of thing. It's really, really interesting how this stuff works. Okay, so that's what you wanna do. You wanna, you know, go to the venues, work out a deal, there you go, okay? And then you also wanna make sure the venue you're hosting at is affluent enough to have people wanting to go there. Because if you're gonna be you know, promoting some club that doesn't really have guests, doesn't really have people, you're gonna have a hard time bringing people. It's not you, it's the venue's shit, it's a shit experience. You wanna be hosting in a place that people will have a good experience whether or not they're even with you, right? Because I'm able to be in other countries, be on the other side of the world, and still promote my venue just off of Snapchat, Instagram, just off of social media, just off of you know saying, hey guys, there's a party there tonight. Even though I'm out of the country, feel free to use my guest list. I'll get you in. I remember being in Mexico this one night on a date with ex-girlfriend of mine. And um, we we're just having drinks, we we're hanging out, and I checked my numbers, and I was like, holy shit. Just from a Snapchat, Instagram post, I brought like 600, or sorry, 60 people, and I made like, four hundred dollars or something like that cool like can't complain can't complain right and it's really interesting to see how like just passively i'm in another country i'm like hey baby drink some meat tonight <laughs> getting paid right it's really cool to see how this works um when you really do build it up have regulars and you just have passively you know tens of thousands of dollars passively just because you're posting a snapchat instagram post um rolling in every single year while you're doing other stuff. You could have a full you know, nine to five job while you're doing this. You could um, run other businesses and you know, just do this on the side and even have it intertwined with your businesses. Whereas I will do most of my business meetings at the venues I go to. I will do <laughs> um, my workshops with clients. I do something called boot camp where I teach cold approach, pickup, dating, social skills. I teach this at the venues I go to. And because I've got VIP exclusive access to these venues, I'm able to deliver an even better experience to my students, my clients as well. I'm able to develop um, an amazing experience and deliver that experience to my guests. I'm able to you know, deliver that to a woman I would want to bring out to, I guess you could say impress or woo for the night <laughs> if I were to decide to have a woman there um, that I wanna have that experience with, right? Or for example, I used to go have, um, I used to go out to pull threesomes with my ex-girlfriend, okay? Yeah, it is of, you know, bringing out all these cool girls, having a good time, make sure everyone's having a good time, then find, you know, the girl who's most bisexual and most into me and my 
ex-partner and we would have threesomes from there so it's really cool because you can kind of make it whatever you want it to be you can kind of construct it to be whatever you want it to be and the more time you put into it the more you get out of it so i've been in it six years right imagine you know another 10 years what amazing experience it will be <laughs> right i hope this makes sense so this is essentially how you can create an amazing life using the nightlife industry to your advantage um, even if you were to do one night a week this could make you a lot of extra money. It can help you meet a lot of people. But I mean, if you were to do you know, two to three nights a week, it's gonna be in a fantastic, fantastic experience and time for you, okay? So all that being said, um, what I would say, actionable steps. Um, first, make sure you're going out meeting people all the time, every single day. I go out every single day, every single day for the last three years plus to meet people, cold approach strangers, make friends, meet women, and network. So I do that purely for anywhere from 15 minutes to one hour a day, minimum, uh, but some days will be like anywhere from four to eight hours. So I do that every single day, right? Then I'm constantly building up a social media following, um, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all these people I know, and then I'm constantly inviting them out, right? You can also use social media marketing strategies, Facebook ads, um, all kinds of different strategies using like Instagram and that kind of thing, and use that to meet more women or people and then, you know, utilize that those connections you made at the clubs to bring them out and get paid for it and have a good time. And what you'll notice is after a certain amount of time, you'll look around, you'll see all these beautiful women around you, amazing friends, the best of friends. Um, I met my best friend, Nick, outside a nightclub. It was like my third time clubbing ever. This is before I was a club promoter. I met him outside of a nightclub and he's my best friend. He lives with me. Uh, and you know, I wouldn't have gotten into YouTube if it wasn't for him. Um, encouraging me to start making videos with him, which is funny enough, and it's completely changed my life, right? So it's crazy, just meeting one fucking person can change your entire life, your entire outlook on life, and it can, you know, really take you to the other side of the world and back. <laughs> so all that being said, I would encourage you to develop this um, if you feel like this is something that calls out to you. I've always wanted to make this type of video on exactly how to become a nightlife promoter, a club promoter, a VIP host, and this is essentially a how-to guide. If you follow this advice, It'll be amazing for you. Leave a like on this video and leave me a comment um, if you have any questions on this and I can answer any questions further in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video taught you how to actually get better at socializing, get better at networking, become a club promoter, um, you know, expand your network in your city, um, expand your network around the world and just you know, become who you're meant to be, um, develop yourself further and um, just crush it, okay? Take care, have a great evening and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, click the bell notification so you're notified of new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.